Hey guys, Andy here. Welcome back to some more Midnight Mysteries, the Edgar Allan Poe Conspiracy. Uh, we are in story number two called... The Goldbug? I think that's what it's called. I'm not entirely certain. Or we're still working on the... I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm fucking tired. Uh, the neighborhood just isn't safe anymore. Gains of ruffians and scoundrels are always looking for trouble. That girl disappeared through. Okay. Is that the same stuff we already heard? Oh, this is the story of Mary Rogers. Okay. So it's, uh, because the other one was Marie Roger. So, interesting. Okay. <clears throat> Now that the place is open, I can take a look around. Mr. Anderson, stop your advances or I'll be forced to resign. Mary Rogers. Hello. Okay, so I guess we're going here. The stories in the heart of New York publishing and politics. Writers, politicians, and newspaper men spend afternoons here in heated debate. Discretion is a must for the shopkeeper. The proper gentlemen who frequent this establishment have a lot to hide, of course. This must be the lost engagement ring of Mary Rogers. Uh, interesting, everyone pays for the goods except Poe. Why does he get his for free? Cool. Good to know. That was a pair of thoughts, but okay. This is not with the same type of sailors not used to drug Mary's body. Good to know. Uh, Edgar Allan Poe, $5,000. Mr. Poe, what are you doing? A cruise ticket, okay. Huh. 
have our friend Mr. G discredit Poe's character, say he was a mad drunkard. Good to know. Very good to know. A cold draft just ran through me. What can I use to expose any ghostly presence that may be in the room? I have a feeling that Chachan was one way. Okay. She knows too much. Thirty thousand, same as her reward. I was told you were reliable on matters like this. No one will ever find a motive. Where does a small business businessman get that type of money? Out of curiosity, what the hell do I get out of solving her murder? Like, really? Anderson had me killed. It's no. We can write a terrible wrong. Mary can be put to rest by exposing her killer. Where did Mr. Anderson go? summoned to investigate a scream. I have nothing to hide. Feel free to look around anywhere you like. Nothing here. Nothing here. Nothing here. 
Nothing here. What's this? I admit the deed. Tear up the planks. Oh, watch. I wonder what happened to it. This one looks like evidence, Mr. Anderson. A naval knot in this rope, just like the one in the murder weapon. Money paid to an assassin. And a piece of her dress. Mary's lost ring. No. Thanks for the tip. Do the honors and handcuff this coward. My pleasure. Andy, the forgotten cases writer, sells a 168-year-old case of Mary Rogers and collects the $200,000 reward that will be given to her family. I could have used that money, but, you know, I guess. Thank you for helping me. You solved my mystery and freed my soul. I forgive you now, Edgar. Goodbye. Here is your reward. Use it wisely. Bruh, I'm gonna buy me a fucking new laptop. Better send all the money to the heirs of Mary Rogers. She had no heirs. Fuck Mary Rogers. Uh, the case of Marie Roger, Mary Rogers, is solved. The evidence led to the shopkeeper, John Anderson, as a murderer. The curious thing was Poe had tried to mislead society and the law in the case. In the end, we were able to work together and make amends to Mary Rogers by bringing a villain to justice. The truth has set Mary soul free. The reward will go to her family. Uh, what to do next? My goal is setting Poe free. It's not finished. His watch is waiting on the gold bug manuscript. This was a tale of treasure hunting in uh, South Carolina. What is Poe trying to tell me? How will treasure lead to the killers of Edgar Allan Poe? I'm ready to transport to Sullivan Island and find out. Suspect Reynolds. Okay. That about does it for this episode of Midnight Mysteries. I hope you're enjoying this. I pretty get, I'm pretty, I pretty much get salty during it. Uh, but as always, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you really fucking soon for some more uh, Midnight Mysteries. Bye for now. Bye for now.